Hi, welcome to Taste of Camp. When I think of camp breakfast, the first thing that pops into my head is that big silver pot full of oatmeal. And while we're not at camp to eat our oatmeal this summer, it is something that we can make and eat easily at home. If you want the camp experience, grab some raisins, grab some brown sugar, and have at it. But we are home, so we have this opportunity to get creative. I got in touch with our camp friend, Sean Kirshner, who has mastered the art of cooking oatmeal. He uses a pan, not a pot. Can you believe it? So keep watching to see his four stages of oatmeal making along with some photos of his delicious oatmeal to hopefully give you some inspiration to make some creations of your own. When you've done oatmeal every morning for like eight years, you learn that there's actually different smells of the oatmeal along the way, like different steps. And we're actually coming to an interesting step right now because we still have like the hull when it's rolled the seed, you know, like when you make popcorn, the hard little crunchy thing, that was the outside. Same thing with rolled oats. This little brown, we have what I call brown stripe because you can just faintly see, oh there, some of the bran or whatever that's still in it. And I actually try to not do it until that disappears. So that starts breaking down because the creaminess starts coming into the oatmeal when more of it has broken down but that's also when it starts sticking to the bottom of the pan. But just after brown stripe starts disappearing, it gets to the phase that I call messy geometry. Because it's like all these rhombuses and parallelograms, it's like weird shapes. And you get all these, the oat flakes are turning into just these weird shapes. And right after messy geometry, it reaches creamy perfection. Mm -hmm. So these are the steps along the way. So we're getting close. And why oatmeal every morning? Well, I'm not exactly sure why, but um, for me, I just discovered it was the breakfast that stayed with me. Um, and also because I'm so flighty like a squirrel, it, had such staying power that I think it kept my blood sugar really maintained for like hours because it took so long to digest it. So that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. And and then there's great health benefits. I mean, anti-inflammation, super good for the digestion, very good for cholesterol. So there's just lots of benefits. And then if you put all the toppings that I put on it, then it literally becomes like a religion at that point. But um. Wow, and more water. Just Always a little more. bit more, because we're trying to get to the creaminess, and we mm -hmm. haven't quite reached cream of perfection. I've also, in talking about um, the smells, I've noticed that there's a smell that I do not like. I do not like the smell when it still has brown stripe. When you first smell dry oats that are really good, they smell wonderful by themselves. When you cook them, there's, a, there's kind of a, uh, how do you describe the smell? But after that phase, it gets into just the blended, smooth smell that doesn't have like an edge to it or something. Mm. Anyway, we see the extra water enabled us to get toward mm. creaminess here. And we're just getting almost past messy geometry. But there's still a little bit, you can see like the shapes, the parallelograms mm. and the rhombuses. Mm -hmm. So just general polygons. Yeah, mm. polygons, yeah. The basic structure of Sean's oatmeal is two fruits and two nuts, usually apples and pumpkin seeds. And for garnishes, he uses a sprinkle of nutmeg, sometimes some cinnamon, and a splash of milk and maple syrup. Thank you to Sean Kirshner and Seth Kinsey for the video. Now go have fun making your own oatmeal creations. Bye.